Okay, so balanced, very fast, 15, okay. You seven out with 10 cards or more. Ah, okay. So there is something about hand management, and especially early game, there's a big part of this which is uh, about trying not to spend your cards if not necessary, because it leaves your options open, right? You don't need to spend your starting roll if you could also plow the other person kind of thing. Right. Ugh, what is this board? This is really tough to place as, uh, as far as actually. Alrighty, you went 4 10 8 or reach sheep classic so don't you yeah, want to just actually a really tough pick. yeah don't you just want to like build fast on this one i also yeah, like one where I, I considered eight five ten as first also it's the fact that there's not going to be like any settlements on the board right hmm. yeah so you generally want one you're dealing with really uh, a lot of empty space which is interesting yeah kareel's already going to take four eight ten interesting like how important is or here uh because okay i was gonna say because we are playing kind of also for an educational purpose or is massive in one one. really i don't think there is any individual resource more important than or in one one. well i messed up then because then if you, you know if you roll an eight you have double rolled you could plow me to 11 five four All right that's a pretty massive deal for instructive purposes i'm going to take full or wheat sheep and see how that does against your like, more traditional uh, settlement set up. Oh, the friendly. Why do they have friendly robber for these? Friendly robber is pretty brutal. Uh, as in, I think it's a good feature for one v one. If you, the the idea being, I mean, you could totally destroy someone's game. Uh, if there's only two players, you only have one brick hex, and I keep your brick hex spot for the entire start of the game. Right. Yeah. Like you'll notice, the more you play, that it can get pretty, it can get pretty imbalanced. With friendly robber involved, I mean, like, just by one person rolling too many sevens, it can be really bad. Right. Oh wait, did you need to turn yeah. my sound off for colonist? I turned off sound on colonist because they they added a lot ten new sounds. Is it educational when you tell her that after the placement? Okay, <laughs> I wanted to let her do what she thought, and then we talk about it. All right. I guess like you do need a lot of robbers, right, to keep uh, it off of you. Yeah, devs are great. I mean, you. Also, the improved value of your plenty road builder when there's so much space. Like a road builder can basically get me onto any combination of resources or any port. Right. Like oh, with so finally. much space, I say it. Mm. Okay. Ooh, you got ore. Boy. Do you need wheat or or sheep? So this is the first kind of lesson of one do one. That you don't have friends. You could never. There is no social aspect. Oh, really? You're only trying to kill the other person. That's it. That's. I mean. So you're. So you don't think people trade during this? No. I mean, in competitive one v one, absolutely not. There's no what? Trade. So it's just why all. Would why would I trade with you? But I, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't want my stuff. I don't want your stuff. <laughs> oh shoot! I'm screwed then. <laughs> I was banking on some trades. Definitely not. Uh, no. Sorry, 0% chance of that happening. Shoot. Okay. Then I need to rethink my strategy. Yeah. Uh, so we can we can definitely get into that. Uh, but let's let this play out because I think it, it will be instructive to see how the different setups kind of play out. I see why it's sure. so fast now. Yeah. Also, there's, there, there's no trading. There's no table talk. There's, you know, you don't worry about some player taking roles. Uh, and like try to negotiate around it. What are you gonna do? So sad that I I kind of blocked my own twelve back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it rolled, which is really huge, actually. That's so that upsetting. Costs, yeah, it cost you four whole wheat. Um, and yeah, chat is reminding that there was a time when I someone disconnected from the game. Uh, in one v one, I traded with the bot because I thought they'd left, and then they came back and they took it. And they just were happy with the trade. Oh. Ideal. Yeah. So, but generally, it doesn't really make sense uh, to trade in one if you want this. Ooh. I like the ten uh, hand. Interesting. Oh, you like bigger hand? Yeah. Yeah. It gives, you, it gives you more options on the board for sure, especially with cities. Something about one v one is because there is so much space, uh, your production will be. By the end of the game, will be a lot higher than what you would have in a in a traditional full player game. Uh huh. Right. So you can you can be working with a lot of cards. You are that four block cards a lot. Good job. 
Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. where do I want to go? Ice eight. Okay. You're trying to get to 11, 5, 4? I don't think you're going to beat me here. Oh, wait. Actually, I don't think you can beat me. But we'll see. The 12 has actually been doing decent. Well, it's actually good, yeah. <laughs> nice rolls for you. Okay. Really good rolls. Nice. Yep. Okay, let's see how this goes now. I'm out of settlements, I guess. Yeah, you are. Guess. So this is where it gets interesting. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Sheep port. Interesting. Hmm. We're gonna do... Well, it's like, it's actually very beneficial to hold, I feel like, because right. very low chance of 70 out, or I guess 10 out. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh, oh no, are you serious? <laughs> That's brutal, I was saving up. I know. Oh, oh my god. I the thing with 1v1 is I can, I can aggressively play knights. It's a lot more viable to play knights to steal from people because there's only two parties. I know. I'm not risking someone else walking away with the game or anything. I can hit you and feel good about it. Sorry, that sounded worse than it should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be careful. Uh, Ooh. Okay. okay, okay. Give me. Or. Oh. No, don't have. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, because you just used it all. Well, we'll pop. Uh -huh. Kind of annoying. Oh, we had an or in hand. Yeah, that's what I thought. You... No, uh, I didn't have all. You had all. So. Interesting. Okay. I don't appreciate it. I do. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ice devs. Ah. It's time. Okay. Ice. Mmm. So even though you didn't take the six three four, which I think would have been really baller for you at the top, you could eight five ten six three four would have been really cool. The eight five ten spot on its own is so impactful on this board. Just having the wood brick and also the port for it is right. amazing. Like it converts into end game so well. Yeah. Uh, so you do get the role play, of course, and again, there's only two players, so it's like it's either you or me. Right, right. You're getting an army probably, but we'll see. I, I hope so. You do have the sheep port. I guess I don't have a three for one port. You don't have one either. Yep. But we or both have a two for okay. one. Let's uh, hit this now. Oh no. Too much. Wow, my devs are interesting. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh huh. Wow, do you know what's crazy? I have, I have double city in hand, but I can't even city twice. Yeah, that's why. That's why I blocked your sheep. Cause... Yeah, good for it. Dang. Hmm. Huge. I don't think I'm yeah, gonna do also, anything. It is balanced dice. Oh, uh, okay. Dice, meaning that you can expect basically all numbers to come through eventually. Okay. Uh, it will be at least reasonably balanced. So. Oh wow, both yops. Yeah, that's. I don't usually get the yop. It's interesting. Yeah, and one v one, the dev distribution, obviously, again, only two people, so it's it's a lot more binary. Um, if you're pulling the monos, then they're gone. Uh, right. Difficult to work around. No. Okay. Yes. Remove, remove. I think it needs to be your sheep, weirdly enough. Uh, the seven. Okay. Place the brick. Okay. Well, wow, the five is a lot. Ooh. Ooh. Who? Uh oh. You may have like. You probably have like a mono and some VPs in your hand. I got something. I don't know how I feel about it. I've definitely played some. The one v one games that I played, people traded me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's so generous. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's go. Well, let's see. What's my win condition here? Do I even need to continue building my roads? Or do I go for like a port? I don't know. Ouch. Don't like that. Ooh! Oh, 
fine. The thing Give is, <sighs> don't do it. No, I don't have. I... The not having a three for one port kind of really sucks here. Oh, the twelve again. <laughs> nice twelve. Okay, I'm gonna be careful. Uh. Okay. Oh -ho. Wow. The double. Double wheat. Okay. I can't even do any well. <sighs> this is a kind of a yikes. I feel like I'm choking here. It's not too bad, but yeah. I, I, mm, it's it starts to get a little bit weird for sure. Honestly, considering self block four. That's five rolls I feel really? bad. Really? Okay. Yeah, I keep getting the sevens. Ouch. You all steal too. It's bad. Ooh, nice block. That matters. Yeah. Oh. Mm. This looks like a pretty classic, like, all we sheep versus rolled endgame. We both have reasonable chances, but it's like... I'm kind of scared that you're actually about to win. Because you could be at 12. Right. But I'd still need, I'd need to get to 15. Right. Ugh. Oh shoot! No! I timed out! There's so many cards. I didn't know so there was... Cards. Oh, I timed out. Shoot. Yeah, it's also a very fast timer, so you, don't, you really don't want to mess with oh, that. Oh, oh my... Oh, oh my cards. god. <laughs> you should just take it home. <laughs> this is all... I don't even know if I can. I mean... <laughs> probably you can't, but it's spooky enough. Jeez. Thirteen. Well, that is crazy. <laughs> nice VP leak. Okay. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I should just build like one road. You're winning right now, so would worry too much. Ugh, what do I do here? A five is just it's catastrophic. <laughs> I feel like you're not uh, getting your numbers aren't rolling. I missed a couple of eights when you blocked it, which is really good. Uh huh. But I'm also running kind of Feast or Famine. I mean, the fours are a major part of my game. But yeah, you've, you've rolled a little bit better in this last few moments, for sure. Got two. That's probably the win, huh? No. I can't, I don't, I'm, I'm out of settlements. Oh, whoops. Oh, I have a wheat port. Oh, shoot. You do have wheat port. Is that, is that GG? No. Because, like, what am I, I have to either city or pull. Oh, no. <laughs> I had a motto that I didn't use. Yeah. Wow. You had pretty bad odds to pull the VP, they're not gonna lie. It was a, uh, it was like a one and eight. Oh my god. Nice. Okay. You, you had three. Okay. So I didn't take six four three because I thought it was definitely the best pick. I would have taken six nine three, uh, and probably just built up. But I wanted to show something different. Okay. Uh, because all we sheep it can truly be viable. Uh, it really depends on the board. In this position, I think you have a lot of advantage from having a port that works, having the ore uh, access. It's a strong setup, so. Yeah. So uh, you clutched it. <laughs> Very nice. Win conditions matter. Getting victory points generally matters. You kind of got to track how you actually get to the uh, to the finish line. That yeah. That's really good. Uh, VP was huge there. Yeah, I feel like I got a little lucky. Like you look, the three barely rolled this game for you. Ouch! Yeah, that's really bad. I'm getting L's in chat. <laughs> I keep 